Yo, what I'm about to tell you guys, I can't even make it up. Even if I try to, I can't make it up. You know what I'm saying? A customer today, a customer, let me rephrase this. A lady that works in this restaurant basically tried to accuse me of stealing a bag of rice. Yeah, you heard me right, a bag of rice. So let me get into it. So today, a normal routine, went to work, 771 cases, 11 stops, plenty miles. So you know I don't got time to play around. I'm just trying to get this shit off the truck. You feel me? That's all I'm trying to do. So got to stop number six. They didn't have they didn't have a big order. They had um four case of cooler, fifteen case of dry, ten case of freezer, right? Um I can remember the order now. They had uh four case of shrimp, one case of mahi, one case of uh ground beef, one case of Man, I ain't gonna remember all that. Anyways, um so made the delivery Patrick the dude that worked there he checked the order everything's good everything's good so you know I put the dry where I had to put the dry put the cooler in the cooler put the freezer in the freezer right so I left and um I did my stop seven uh and then I was uh Went to stop eight. I'm doing stop eight, doing my thing. Salesman called me. He was like, yo. And I was like, yo. They're like, oh, um, such and such stop said that uh you went there and you um you went inside their cooler and you grab a bag of rice. And you put a sticker on their bag of rice and you took it out and you put it in the dry section. I'm like, I'm like, what? First of all, I didn't even understand what the hell you were saying. You know what I mean? Like, let me let me let me rephrase this to you guys. Let me break it down to you guys. So basically, what this lady said she saw me did, she said she saw me go inside their cooler, grab a bag of rice. And put our tag on it. So before I even get into the story, this sound like this sound like a heist. This sound like something that had to been planned. Because before I jump forward, um, when I when I when I when he told me that, I'm like, what? So I, I called the manager right away. I'm like, yo, play your camera, run your camera before you call with that craziness. Play your camera. All of a sudden, his camera don't work, but that's a different story. But think about this, y'all. The rice was in the cooler. Even even if I was going, even if I even if I was going to do that, how would I know that the rice is in the cooler? That's number one. Number two, how would I know that their camera's not working? This must be something I've been planning. I've been planning on taking this bag of rice forever, huh? I'm like, bro, I was so mad. I almost drove from stop eight back to that stop. Thank God I didn't. Because it would have got ugly. But when, when somebody do that, when somebody do that, I don't know what the hell they had going on. I don't know what she got going on. I don't know if she want me to buy her a bag of rice. I would, I'd be more than happy. Rice is cheap. I don't know if somebody inside that store want me to buy them a bag of rice. I would have bought it. You know what I'm saying? But... Us out here, us food service driver, 
if somebody accuses us of doing stuff like that, take it serious. Don't play with these people. Take it serious. As, as quick as somebody can come out of their mouth and say that, that's how much they respect your job. As quick as somebody can come out of their mouth and say that, that's how much they respect your family that you got to take care of. Right? I was going to go back there. I was going to go back there. I'm like, you know what? Let me be the bigger person. I was like, let me be the bigger person. But real talk, I was hot. Hot. To the point where I called a supervisor. I'm like, man, take me off this route. Don't ever put me back on this route. And remind, remind you that I do like my route. This particular customer is a customer that I do every now and then. It's not it's not a regular customer for me, for me. It's not a big customer either. Every customer is important. I get that, but ain't nobody going to play with me like that. You feel me? Um So I ain't going to lie. I was upset about that. Um I found out one of the reasons why this customer got confused was um they had two stickers on their um they had two stickers on their on the bag of rice that I delivered but even if they did have two stickers on there right let's just say it was an old sticker from maybe like a case that got refused even if they did have two stickers on it why would the lady said that she saw me take out a rice out the cooler? And what food service driver out there knows that customer keep bags of rice in their cooler? And who in the hell keeps rice in the cooler? What in the hell is going on anyway? Why am I even worried about this? Why? Let me tell you why. Because what happened is, if you're a driver out there, right, and something like this happened to you, you got nip it in the butt right away. I'm gonna tell you what happened. If you keep going back to that stop and tension keep boiling up, things can get out of hand. You know what I'm saying, yo? We got a hard job out here, drivers. It's a lot of obstacles, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of people, they pretend like they like truck drivers. They don't. We know they don't. You know what I'm saying? But y'all keep doing what y'all doing, man. Y'all keep taking care of your family. Y'all keep working hard. Um, at the end of the day, it is, it is what it is, man. I'm going to keep working. Um... If you're somebody out there in need of a bag of rice, just just ask for it. Ask for it. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I think rice is still cheap, ain't it? I'm not sure. I ain't, I ain't bought me a bag of rice. Bro, I don't even eat rice like that. I don't even eat rice like that, yo. I'm still mad, yo. I ain't never had this problem at U.S. Food. Never. No, no matter what happened, I ain't never had this problem at U.S. Food, yo. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. You know what I mean? I'm still upset. Um, but it's going to be all right. I just thought I had to share this with y'all real life food service situation real story first time watching my channel make sure you like subscribe we're here